Hey Foxes, all right, so we're gonna start this video off by actually opening the package that all the Morphe uh, foundations came in because it is so big and I've been gone so much. I haven't even had a chance to open it up, so let's do this. Can we just talk about starting the year off organized? Cause like, you know, yeah. You gonna open it with me, diaper boy? Huh? You gonna open it with me? Okay, let's do it. He's like totally smiling. Your little smile is so cute. Let's see it. Show us your smile. Show us your little smile where you do your little, little lips up. There it is. <laughs> We have a prepaid mailer so that if none of the shade, you know, the shades that don't work for me, I can send back. That's pretty cool. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Woo. Ay ay ay. All right. Hey Amanda. Oh look, we've got some familiar faces on here. Whoa. All righty then. Okay, so they have sent this in um, order of, uh, it looks like they kind of separated this by tone almost. Like this is more pink, this is more yellow. Yellow, not really sure, it's kind of just all over the board. I pulled this up on the table and apparently it didn't end here. There's also pullouts here with the concealer, um, foundation primer and just a pure white concealer, I guess? Why wouldn't that be over here? I don't really know. Um, maybe for cutting a crease. And then we've got a little tiny, you're not in focus, a little tiny beauty blender type thing. Um, I'm assuming this is for concealer. And foundation. It's a little smaller than I usually use for foundation brushes, but we'll give it a go. It's the point of the video. Um, then we've got powder. It's got a little thing under there. Frankie's here to help. <laughs> um, and then pull that part down. You've got pressed powder. So um, maybe I'll use one of these for contouring today. We are back in my studio. It is actually the next day because it got too late for me to do a wear test. Hi Frankie. I am filming a video. Before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that I do have a website that I sell apparel on. Um, I just like to get creative with it. It's fun and I just created a brand new design and it is right here. It's kind of like an oversized 90s kind of sweater, or sweater, it's like a shirt, not a sweater. But you can wear it as like a dress if you want to as it's shown on Carol on my website. I'll put a picture right here, ding. Um, so yes, that is available now. We have a couple other designs coming out too and there are a few sizes left of the Goest and Fucketh Thyself t-shirt. So just letting you know, link is in the description box. I am uh, late to this video as I'm always late to pretty much every new product that comes because I work mostly all week in the Arctic Fox office and then my nights and weekends I film and open packages and whatnot and so I'm usually late to the party but I figured if you're subscribed to my channel you probably want to hear my opinion on it as well because every YouTuber out there has completely different skin. So um, this foundation does say that it is a matte foundation. It says that it works for every skin type. Um, I did some research in here. I'm gonna be referring to this as we go. But I was like shocked when I got this box. It was so freaking heavy. Like it's so extra that they sent us all the shades that they really wanted to like show you, like look at all 60 of them. So we get to take a look at, you know, the shade range, etc. And I'm just gonna put this out there right now that I am not super great at recognizing undertones in um, foundation or even matching my own foundation to my body. So you can't be good at everything. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm not, I'm not super great at that. So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be and speak to that. This video is gonna be more so about how it is applying. I'm sure you guys are able to figure out what shade you need just by the swatches that are on their website. That's the point of it. Um, also, there are Morphe stores and they're now in Ulta, so you can check it out there. I don't know if this foundation is gonna be there, so don't hold me to that. 
But um, yeah, uh, jack of all trades, master at none. I'm not great at talking and speaking to the undertones of shades and whatnot. Um, in a foundation range. So uh, when I was going through though for myself, I felt like it was kind of hard to find a more neutral one. I felt like it was kind of really yellow or more red. So that was a little difficult for me. But um, there are people who did speak to the shade range that did swatches that did a really great job at it. Um, Nicole Concilio did a video and so did Jackie Ina. So I'll link both of those in the description box below if you would like to head over there and see more about the shade range. But I think it is awesome that they did 60 shades from what I watched in Nicole Concilio and Jackie's video is that that um, kind of missed some shades there. Like it was just um, missed opportunities there to provide shades for certain people. And I know just looking at it, it doesn't seem like it quite goes dark enough. Um, I have some friends that are extremely dark. Uh, their skin is super, super dark. And I don't think that they have a shade that's quite dark enough there for them. But anyways, like I said, if you wanna uh, learn about the shade range and kind of some of the undertones and whatnot, this is not your video. I will link those down below. Let's go ahead and get into this collection. So what I got in this package, this PR package was all 60 shades of all the foundations. I also, I literally didn't, I texted Nicole Concilio and I was like, hey, like where are the concealers and the powders that those come in a different box? And she was like, no girl, they're like side pullouts. So I filmed again, pulled out the sides. There's a side of powder and the, the trio that comes with the mini sculpting brush, the foundation brush. Uh, well, I'll just show them to you. Um, it comes with this little sculpting brush. You can probably use this to contour if you want, contour your nose um, or uh, concealer under the eyes. This is supposed to be, used, look at my nail. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's always this one too. It's always this one. This he did, She didn't make it, she didn't make it. She's not looking so hot. Foundation brush, this is, um, a little smaller than what I'd usually go for, but just by a smidge. Um, I do like how dense it is. It's really soft, it is synthetic. And then we've got a little lumpy beauty blender. I did wet this because this comes as a trio and it is $19 for three of these. So you get all three of these for $19. So I'm gonna try all three of them because obviously if you're buying this and you don't, one of the items in it isn't good, like why do you wanna spend the $19 on it? You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna try those out. I think it's odd that the Beauty Blender is so small. Um, I feel like it could have gone, could have been a little bigger, uh, but that's just me. Okay, so for foundation, I grabbed a few different shades because I had no idea, whoa, these are looking really dark to me right now. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Um, I have a high neck shirt on, so. <laughs> um, so I grabbed these guys right here and I grabbed F290, F310. <laughs> <laughs> back F310 and then F340. I may need to go see, oh, I'm like out of focus. Focus. I may need to, my face is also a lot more pale than my body. So um, I tan, I like tan my body and then like one of these might work. We're, we're gonna try it out. As far as the foundation amount that you get, you get one fluid ounce, which is pretty typical. I just looked at my CoverGirl foundation. I looked at Too Faced. Um, all of them are about one fluid ounce, so that's pretty on par with the rest of the foundation gang that I got going on in my drawer down here, you know what I'm saying? Let me it, come back to me. And the foundation is $18, and in my little book, it says that it is a full coverage matte foundation. Um, it performs like a boss with 30 diverse shades and multiple undertones that are not caught in the middle or playing sides. Tone empowering shades, 24 hour long wear. So today we're gonna do a 10 hour wear test because I am not staying up for 24 hours. I love you guys, but I love sleep and I just, I, <laughs> I can't do it. Um, uh, back in my bartending days, I used to do that, but no thanks. Uh, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of oils, fragrance, and parabens, great for all skin types. Now, what I've been hearing is that it's not great for all skin types. I've been hearing that it's actually not good for people with dry skin. I do not have dry skin. I have combo skin. My skin was actually kind of dry in Hawaii randomly enough. Like that doesn't make any sense with the humidity and whatnot there. But yeah, it was dry in Hawaii. And then now it's kind of getting back to normal now, but I have combo skin. So it's kind of just depends on the weather, but right now it's pretty, it's pretty in the middle. Let's see what the little applicator looks like. Yeah, so there's what it looks like. I do, I do like the packaging, I'm into that. 
Moving on to the finishing powder. So it comes in a little package like this and you open this guy up and you've got a little sponge under here. So if you don't bring a brush with you, like my crazy ass does, I always bring a brush in my purse because I want like, I don't know, I just feel like you see the makeup transfer onto those little sponges and it stresses me out and I don't like it. So I, I always, I always bring it. But then we've got a compact with a pretty good size mirror in here and the product comes in 15 different matte shades. It says, let's read a little bit about this. It says, um, complete or freshen up any look with these silky soft finishing powders that can slay well on their own or with others. That's cute. See what you did there. Oh, there's a gnat flying around. I'm gonna kill it. Is that a mosquito? Oh my gosh, it's gonna eat me alive. Um, includes puff for on, on the go application. So basically it says it's a filter effect finishing powder. So supposedly this is supposed to like really finalize your look and um, and set it and give you that filter look. So I am gonna try that today. I also grabbed a shade for um, contouring and I will show that shade to you when we get there. But let's move on to concealer. I grabbed three different ones cause I really wasn't sure. This one's more of a pink toned and then these are kind of, this is kind of neutral and this is kind of more yellow. Um, the concealer is $9, which is a banging price for a concealer. I think that's awesome. I've literally never used a concealer to it being just completely empty. I've always used it to where it just, like it, it got dried out and, and then I had to toss it, but I mean, it's gonna last you. Long wearing multitasking formula can conceal, brighten, and contour like nobody's business. So they're saying you can use it for contour too. Um, available in 31 shades for ideal concealing power. 16 hour long wear. So that's a little odd that the concealer is only 16 hours and then your foundation is 24. Is it gonna like, like your concealer is gonna start breaking down first and then your foundation is gonna follow like, you know, eight hours later? It's kind of weird. Uh, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of fragrance and parabens. Ophthalmologist tested, safe for eyes. So that's the concealer. And then we have two different primers here. When I originally pulled this out, I thought it was like a little mini travel size. I compared it to some of my other concealer or primers, I mean, and let's see. So this is 0.95 fluid ounces, the Urban Decay one. This one is 0.67. And then this Tatcha one uh, is 0.7. So primers seem to be kind of like all over the board when it comes to like the amount that they're putting in there. So there's two different primers that Morphe's offering with this collection. They have an equalizer primer and a revitalizing primer. Equalizer, revitalizer. The equalizer instantly makes skin feel smooth and balanced. That's what I'm gonna be using today. Um, and then the revitalizer instantly makes skin feel moisturized. So if your skin tends to be more on the dry side, uh, that sounds like the one that you're gonna wanna use. I'm going with equalizer today. I just uh, washed my face, so my face is completely clean. What I usually do before I put foundation on, no matter what, is put some sort of like a water-based um, moisturizer on. So today I'm gonna use Tatcha's water cream and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this just so you guys are aware of like the process of what I'm doing to my face before we get started. I can't stop staring at my ugly nail, ugh. It's like driving me crazy. I need to go to the nail salon. I started getting my nails done again. Got a pimple right there. Go away. Oh my gosh. So I just wanted to say, so I was so free. It's, it's Future Man on season two, I think. I watched season one of Future Man and I thought it was really good. And I thought it was hilarious and witty and funny and dirty. And I just loved all of it. And then we just started watching season two last night. And I feel like a, I'm, I'm being let down so far. Like maybe it takes a little bit of time to get into, but it just seems like all over the place. Like it just doesn't really make sense. Like what's happening is just kind of like random and like not funny and just off the wall. Like in like, like when like family guy gets too dumb, you're just like, I can't even watch this. Like, but the guys are laughing. That's, <laughs> that's like how I feel about it right now. Are you guys watching that one? Let me know. What do you guys think if you've seen the second season so far? My hair's getting cropped out, man. You can look at her for a second. My back just cracked, I felt good. Okay, these are really looking really red or really like yellow to me, honestly. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try this one right now. This is F260. And if it's not the right color, whatever. I'll wear a high shirt all day and no one will know the difference. I really just have to go to the feed store to get um, litter for my rabbit. So <laughs> let's go ahead. And I have 
heard that a little goes a long way with this, so let's just do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray this with um, the Fo Smashbox Photo Finish Serene Greens Primer Water. I just met someone uh, the other day, I just wanted to touch on this. I met someone the other day in Ohio when I was there and she had a question about foundation and it not sticking and she was telling me that she was um, uh, doing, her, like wetting her beauty blender with uh, toner. I just, I don't know if anyone else is doing that, but toner is meant to remove your makeup. So if you're wetting your beauty blender or brush with toner, you're essentially just wiping your makeup off. It's like literally the last step I do in my makeup routine, like, or makeup removal routine, I should say. Um, and uh, I wanna just feel this in my fingers. Nice consistency. So yeah, you're gonna wanna use like a, like a, a nice like hydrating facial spray or just water. Okay, you have to work fast with this. This is already drying down. Let me get a mirror up in here. Ah, I'm getting stressed out. <laughs> this, yeah, this looks like the right color right now. I like this brush a lot. This feels really nice. It's really soft. It's placing the foundation nicely. I haven't had to be great at matching foundation because I have a throat tattoo, okay? So <laughs> I've been avoiding been avoiding it and just being like, that looks like the right shade and I put it on and we call it a day. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to put on the freaking primer. Ah, I suck at this thing called YouTube. I'm sorry, I forgot to put on the primer, y'all. So I was just thinking like how nice my pores and my skin looked with this uh, foundation on and then I was like, oh my gosh, you didn't even put the primer on. Sorry about that. Um, I will have to try the primer out on a later date and let you guys know about that. That's so annoying. It feels really nice too. It's like not sticky, but it's not too dry either. So I, I, I kind of see what Jackie was saying though. Like I feel like you don't really need a powder on it because it doesn't, it's just, I feel like you'd look like a piece of chalk if you put powder on this at this point. Let's go in with a concealer. That's a little like pink, but we're gonna try it anyway. I am going to use the Beauty Blender for this. Um, not the Beauty Blender, but the, you know, the Morphe little lump, lump sponge that came with this just to try it out. That blends out really nice. I like um, the coverage of the concealer. I would say that it's more full coverage than medium, but it's definitely not as full as like, I would say like shape tape, um, which I kind of like cause you, I always put too much shape tape product on and I'm like, oh dear God. And I'm like blending it out into my hairline and like, what have you done? Like you don't need that concealer, that much concealer. So um, I, I'm liking this one cause I can put the normal amount that I'd put on and we don't have any problems. So <laughs> um, the concealer by the way that I'm using is C165. Got the nap. I think that this looks really natural underneath the eyes. I would say more so than the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's a little bit lighter. Um, so I am gonna uh, powder underneath the eyes. So we're gonna head over to this powder around here. I'm gonna use my little little wintry motor brush and just, oh, an eyelash blow out, make a wish. Oh, it's not coming off because it's stuck to the concealer. All right. Feels nice. Feels a little heavier than finishing powder. Maybe I just like got a lot of it on the brush, but um, it's looking good. It's looking good. I'll put a little bit on the top. It's really not creasing much, which I like. I didn't even touch this one and that's all it's creased so far. That's pretty sweet. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just gonna, just just for the sake of seeing how this powder looks on the face, I'm just gonna take my little Moda brush, this is so cute. Um, I'm just gonna dip into this like once and I'm just gonna kind of powder the areas that typically get a little oily and over here so we can contour with the powder and see how we do. Actually, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, the whole face, the whole face. While the foundation's kinda getting settled, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and my eyes off camera, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and do the contouring with the Morphe, the new Morphe powder and see how that looks on. I'm not really feeling like um, contouring with concealer today, so I'll try that a different time, but yeah, let's, oh, and I don't think I gave my th thoughts on this. 
I think that the sponge is take it or leave it, um, but the nice thing about this set is if you do get this duo, you're gonna like the sponge. Like it's not like a hard freaking rock. Like I always hate when the sponges are just so hard that you're trying to like buff something out. It just feels like you're smacking yourself in the head with like a rock. Um, it's not like that. It's actually, it feels nice like a beauty blender. The shape is a little not quite pointy enough on the top for me to like get into the eye area as much. So. Um, also, I don't like how blunt the edges are. I feel like that would make edges in your foundation if you were using it, but maybe you could use this for your foundation on this side if you wanted to. So not terrible, but like it's nothing groundbreaking, but it's it, you'll use it if you get the set is what, I'm, is what I'm trying to say. We are back. Okay, so uh, just in case you were wondering, um, I did use the Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette by Too Faced for this little simple eye look. I you typically do my eye makeup before I put foundation on, so I was a little freaked out to do anything too crazy, but yeah. I had grabbed this one for contour. It's looking like it's not gonna be quite dark enough. Um, let's try it anyway. It's like a natural contour. Yeah, it's working. Before I do blush, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite highlighters. That's actually kind of broken. Let me dump that out. So sad, like a little piece of me fell into the trash when that just happened. Uh, this is Blissful um, Highlight by Ofra, and I'm using a Luxie 522 brush. This brush is freaking awesome for highlight and for under the eyes, and I do have a discount code. I will leave it in the description box for you. I think it's just Kristen, but it'll give you a nice discount. This foundation is looking really nice. I'm really liking this. Okay, so uh, for blush, I'm gonna be using Buxom's Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Seychelles. And I'm just going to pop this on. I don't know about you guys, I'll let you be the judge from what you see on camera, but I think this foundation looks bomb AF. Like, I keep seeing myself in my monitor and like doing a double take, like it looks really good. I wish the foundation hadn't dried down quite as fast, but I also liked the fact that it wasn't like wet when I was done applying it because whenever my foundation and concealer is like wet when I'm finished applying it, I grab my fan and I just kind of sit here and I'm like, and then I feel gross putting powder on top of that. So I did really like that. Um, you just have to work smarter with it and faster, but the overall finish of this, like I forgot I had a pimple here. It like masked it super well. It really evened my skin tone. I think that, and I even put powder on top of this as well. I think that if you have really dry skin, I don't think that this would be something you would necessarily wanna grab for. Maybe it would work with the primer. Um, you guys can always try things at Ulta and if you don't like it, return it. So, you know, you're not gonna be out any doll hairs if you do buy it and you get it and you're like, Ugh, I don't like this, you can return it. But um, only time will tell. Sometimes foundation looks really awesome when you put it on and then a little bit later it looks terrible. Um, the Fenty Beauty Foundation looks freaking awful on my skin. Like when I applied it, I thought it looked really, really good. And then I was out and Ryan was like, what foundation do you have on your skin right now? And I was like, I have the Fenty Beauty on, why? And he's like, your pores look giant. Like your skin doesn't look good. And I was like, ouch, all right. <laughs> We're going there with the honesty, fine. So here we go. I'm gonna go for 10 hours and I'm gonna check in with you guys probably about two other times before the final check-in. I'm not going to be touching it up. I will be touching up lashes and my lips, but as far as my base and my face, I will not be touching that at all. I might powder just my eyebrows because sometimes those get a little greasy. Um, but I will, I will leave it alone and we'll just see how it goes. I'm not gonna put any setting spray on. We're just gonna see how it is in its element all by itself. I feel bad that I didn't try the primer today because that was kind of like one of the main things of this. So uh, next time. The clock is rolling. I will check back in with you guys. Let's see how this foundation holds up. Here's what we look like in the natural light. You can see this uh, rather close up. Um, you don't have to pause it. <laughs> um, Ryan's watching Lucifer behind me, but here's what it looks like in the natural light. Soon we're gonna kind of lose the natural light as we move into the evening. So the lighting will get crappier, which will, you know, show, show what it really looks like. Checking in again, this foundation has been on my face now for what, seven and a half hours? I've got two and a half hours left, two hours and 28 minutes to be exact till we hit the 10 p.m. or 10 hour wear mark, um, I should say. I think that 
it is looking pretty good. I was editing some video in my studio from in my studio earlier and um, I think my camera tends to pick up like every imperfection on the face because it's showing, I definitely have bigger pores here than I'd like, but it's showing that they look really like textured and whatnot on camera, but it doesn't actually really look like that in person. So um, I feel like this camera is a little bit better representation of what it looks like in person. So um, yeah, I need to fix my lipstick. I ate some dinner and stuff, but I think that it's looking pretty good. Overall, I would probably use a um, uh, rice paper to go here and a little bit right there and here. Honestly, I think I put my highlight down way too far today too. But um, yeah, overall, like I think it looks pretty dang good. Like close up, I don't see it, you know, coming apart and stuff right here. It's definitely a little greasier than I'd like it to be right now. Um, but as far as it's setting in like my lines and wrinkles, I think it's doing pretty dang good. And I even like poked at that pimple right there because it, it needed to be popped. <laughs> so I just kind of scratched at it. But yeah, um, we'll check in one more time at the 10 hour mark, but so far so good. It is very cold in my garage, which is why I have a blanket around me. Um, okay, so it has officially been about 10 hours and 40 minutes. It was only gonna be 10 hours, but then I started watching this new TV show called You and got really into it and I'm on a crazy episode. <laughs> um, so I have not powdered my face at all. This is what we have here. I literally have a pimple that needs to be popped right here, but I have not touched my face. Um, I scratched at it earlier and now it's just irritated. But um, overall, I have to say that I am super impressed with this foundation actually. Um, I wasn't expecting much after kind of what I'd heard going around on the interwebs about it, but I really like this. This might even be one of my new favorites. I think it looked, I mean, I never wear my makeup for 10 and a half hours. Like I literally maybe wear it for three hours tops, unless I'm, you know, doing a long photo shoot day or something. But typically I only wear my makeup for like three hours. Um, Definitely never 10 and a half. So I think that this held up really well. I could definitely have used some powder and some rice paper throughout the day. But overall, I think I found the perfect shade and I think it looks really good on my skin. I even actually washed my hair earlier, which is why this is a little patchy right here because I just took the little brush and like went in when I really should use the foundation brush. Just because I like it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to love it, but give it a try, see what you guys think, get a sample or just, you, like I said before, you can grab it and return it if you don't like it. But um, this gets a thumbs up for me. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this again and I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow and the next day and the next day until my skin's like not liking it, which it does often. And then I'll switch to something different. But so far, loving it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How do you feel like this foundation has performed? Um, and are you gonna give it a try? Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.